the Sleep Show Woman. And today on today's in- today on today's interview, we have the lovely Professor Juice. Wait, do you want me as Professor Juice or Rosie? Um. Well, yeah, that was going to be my first question. Which one do you, would you prefer, prefer, Professor Juice or Rosie? Oh, jeez, Louise, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm happy either way. Call me Pro Juice or Rosie or Professor or Juice or whatever. I'm cool either way. Okay. Bruce, <laughs> fair enough. Bruce, perfect. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, a big interview today, uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, all four of my viewers. I wouldn't really say big name. <laughs> well, maybe I don't know. You know what? Yeah, uh, five thousand subscribers. Um, yeah, I've just passed. I think I'm on. Yeah, I've just passed five thousand. I think now I'm on five thousand one hundred and something. Well, but it's you, like rocketing really fast. I didn't expect it to go this quick. You have five thousand more than I do, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get there one day, buddy. Yeah. I believe in you. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Uh, so, first boring question, what got you into YouTube? What got me into YouTube? Into YouTube. YouTube, oh my god. Um, what got me into YouTube? I wanted to do it for ages, like, um, when I was back at school, I remember I was on a summer holiday once and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna start doing videos because I've wanted to do it for ages. Since I studied media studies at school, I thought, yeah, I really want to do my own stuff. Um, but I just never had the time or the software to do it and then what got me into it, what got me started was I was originally planning on going to uni um, but I was going to take a gap year first because I thought gap year, I can learn to drive, I can finally start my YouTube thing because I really want to, especially since like with my brother being in it I saw all the amazing cool things he was doing and everything um, and I wanted to do it, I think, just as much as he did, but he just did his way earlier, and then he was just awesome at everything he did. Um, so yeah, then in my gap year, I would I learned how to drive, and then started doing my produce stuff, and voila, here I am now, still marching on, and it's not even been a year. It is quite impressive, because I am... Um, I don't know, I just found your, your first video, the, uh, what is it, the fish cake? Oh, well, um, <laughs> my very first video, the cheap, cheap cake video. Yeah. When I ran around going, cake. Yeah, I, I saw that video and I watched that constantly for about a week. I still watch it now and again because it's <laughs> so funny. It's See, just the, one... the repeating line is like, put the cake in the oven. What? I know, well, I wanted to do that idea for ages. And before I even started YouTube, I wanted to do something as a warm up because I didn't want to just go straight into a review or something. And that's why I did juice lids because I thought, like my little sketch shows I do, because with that, um, me and my friends have always wanted to try something out. We, like, they have a free house, and I was like, can I just make a mess of your kitchen? And they were like, yeah. So voila. And then it got me used to the editing software, the different skills, different mm. audio waves, this, that, and the other. So no, I'm still super happy with how that turned out, like, especially for a first attempt and things. Yeah, it was in. It was impressive. I I I enjoyed the uh, the acting. Wake the up. acting. The the phone. Oh well, when um, <laughs> well when I was no, because I think when I was filming that bit, um, James had the camera over my shoulder, and I didn't I he didn't know how long I was gonna go on for, and neither did I. So I literally just sat there and I was just like, just keep on going. But that was fun, that was fun to do. And I think he found it fun as well because rather than me help him out on his stuff, he was able to help me out on mine as well. I'm guessing he enjoyed it anyway, because if he didn't, it'll be a bit awkward now. <laughs> mm. uh, well, <laughs> uh, you were saying you had your idea and your brother started before you. So are you saying your brother robbed your idea? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, well, not at all. Well, because he studied, because um, we both went to the same school. And by the time he could study media and learn all the stuff, I was still doing, like, all the... Like, even you know, when you have to do maths and all that science and all that jazz. Um, oh, no, he he inspired me to start as well. That's... I probably should have said that as well, yeah. Because, like I said, when, <laughs> when I saw him doing his stuff, like, that gave me a... Like, like I said, it gave me a drive to do it myself as well. So, mm. yeah, no, I, no, he didn't rob me at all. He'd started it and everything. He introduced me to YouTube and everything. So, 
wasn't for it, it might probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> I well, hate your YouTube. parents. Well, yeah, except, yeah. <laughs> well, we're not talking on that side, on the YouTube side. God, now we're getting deep talking about my birth. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the first video you appeared? What was the, when you, what was your first uh, introduction to YouTube? What was the first thing you did on YouTube before you did your channel? Because I know you appeared on your brother's channel. Yeah, the first thing I ever, oh, Jesus, what was it? Um... Oh, I'm trying to think way, way back. Um, I was in his Lego Racers review, I believe. I'm trying to, let's see, he did... Was I in... No, I wasn't in Klonoa. I wasn't in Rascal Racers. I wasn't in... Oh, well, maybe it was Lego Racers. I can't remember. I'm going to have to, like, later on, when I get... When, I'm just going to have to look this up, because I, I am super curious on how... But I was, I must have been 16 or 15 when I first appeared in his videos. So when I look back on them and I see little me, I'm like, ah, look at how chubby I was. <laughs> was the uh, hair flip really small? Yeah, I was like tiny and I didn't have much of a flick in my hair. And I'm like, ah, oh, the days of innocent youth. <laughs> <laughs> I am, um, I saw... I don't know, I've seen nearly all your videos and I missed your 3000 uh, subscriber video of the Q&A you did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, wish I knew that before I actually did the interview. Because it kind of <laughs> answered all the questions I was going to answer, ask. <laughs> what was what was in the drink that made you, the, the, the juice one? Um, the, the juice? Um, I still have no idea. All I know, literally, because... I had no idea what they were going to put in because I gave them my camera and I just went, go on guys. Like, I didn't even know they did the umbrella co. I was so mm. sad we didn't get that on camera because they got a whole lab suit with the umbrella logo on the back. They put so much effort into it. Um, and literally, I had this drink. It stank of Nando's. Um, but I think it had like chili, um, some sort of pickle maybe? They still won't tell me. I've asked them millions of times and they're just like, no. Oh. But... Bless them, they got me a substitute as well in case I couldn't bear the first one, but I don't back down from a challenge. Did you try the second one? I think I did, and it wasn't anywhere near as bad. But I'm quite, because literally that drink, it made me really sick afterwards. Yeah, like, because yeah. when we did it, we were meant to be going out for like one of my friends, like they had a special occasion, so we were going to go to the pub. Um, and literally, I was at the pub, and I was just there, holding my stomach. And they were like, are you okay, Rosie? I was like, no, I hate you all so much. But, <laughs> but no, that was a lot of fun. I'm glad we did it. And I'm glad they put so much effort. Like, I love Liam, Andy, and Lucy, I love those. They're, I've always said they're part of the Juice crew. If it wasn't mm. for them, I wouldn't be able to do any of the stuff I've done. So You wouldn't have had a kitchen to do your first video. Yeah, I wouldn't have had a kitchen to do my first video. I wouldn't have been able to throw the thing at Liam's face. I uh, wouldn't have... Oh, it's just so much fun to do. That's why every now and then I like looking back on the outtake video I did of that. Um, yeah, because, yeah, I watched it. That was a good uh, take of how many times it took you to hit him in the face with it. <laughs> uh, it was hilarious. <laughs> like, <laughs> like see, it took us so many attempts that it just got to the point where Liam literally just went, just punch me in the face. Because I wasn't the one throwing it, I was filming it, and Lucy was trying to throw it. Um, but she blessed her, she just couldn't get her aim right. <laughs> so when we finally got it, it was a beautiful moment, it was gorgeous. And he did a, a second uh, kind of music video, let's just call it that, the driving instructor one. Yeah, that um, that idea I wanted to do first, that was the first one I always wanted to cover, um, because like, I love Parappa the Rapper, um, and... Every you don't time... say, do you? <laughs> no, gee whiz! Don't, I've got a Parappa the Rapper hat now, and it's awesome. But yeah. moving on. Um, you do mention it in all your videos, so... <laughs> I'm sure you mentioned it in the Metal Gear Solid one, I can't remember. I don't think I did. I think I haven't mentioned it in Juice Lips. No, Juicy Treats yet. I haven't mentioned it in those. But I will cover the series as a whole at some point. Um... But because sometimes I listen to like the music just out of the blue, it was the very first idea I had to actually think 
what it would be like to drive following the instructions. And I love experimenting with the editing software and everything. So literally, I said to the guys, I was like, do you fancy doing an experiment with a green screen? So we, I drove my car down to their house. We covered it in a green blanket. Yeah. Um, but because it was sunny and then some patches were shady, it was like really hard to like balance it. But that was like the car absolutely stank of the heat from me and Liam from doing the takes over and over and over again. And then Andy and Lucy were just, they were chilling outside the car filming all the stuff. And we kept on messing up the blanket. And oh, that, it was just fun to do. That's why I like doing juice splits because they're just so much fun to do with others. Especially The Last of Us. I think that was the one we had the most fun with. But. So uh, do, you, do you always try to find a pun with a juice with your videos? Like something like that, the juice lips? Yeah, my rule is, <laughs> in um, or if I do introduce a new show, my rule is that I have to have juice in it in some form. So I've got, well, I'll start with my juice lists, juicy reviews, juicy top tens, juicy extras, but they're just like reviews, top tens and extras and whatnot. Um, and then juicy treats was so hard to come up with a name for, let's say, um, because obviously, because I wanted it to be short, so I wanted it to be like short, a nice little cute little title. Um, but if you put words like quick or something, then it's like a juicy quickie. I thought I can't have a juicy quickie <laughs> as the title. And seriously, I read, I asked people for advice. I was like, help me, please. I need to put juice in the title somewhere. Um, so that's what I get for putting juice in the title of my name, but. <laughs> But no, Juicy Treats, I was like, yeah, it's like a sweet. It's a, it's a cute little sweet. Yeah. So Juice has to be involved in the title in some form. So if I do start a new show, I'm going to have to bring out another list. <laughs> another, another list. Is there any collaborations you really want to do with other reviewers in your kind of field? Because um, you do nice, nice... Like, the Metal Gear Solid one was kind of... of All the other games you reviewed and all this... It was weird to see like a Metal Gear Solid because it's just like this is a bit out of the blue. Crash Bandicoot, very crap game. You've <laughs> all these games, and then you have Metal Gear Solid. That's what. <laughs> yeah, just, just check it in there. Yeah, just, just try it out there. Just try it out there. Just check it out there. No, um. So yeah, in terms of what I do, literally, I pick a video to review. If I play a game and I think I can talk about it, I don't have any. Like people, like you've got, for example, Kadikarus who does PlayStation One games for his main review and stuff. I don't want it. I don't have a set thing. I just think if I can play, if I can talk about a game, I can talk about a game. So let's just do it like that. Apart from Crash Boom Bang, because I wanted to cover that for ages, because I truly despise that game. Like words, it like words can't even describe how much I hate that game. Didn't seem um, like a fun game. But in terms of collabs. Like, I've always, me, um, I think it was awesome that me and Hale, we did our first collab together, me and Hale fell, um, because that, even though we were, like, only in snippets, it was a lot of fun to do, and it, we were both just, like, so excited about it, even though we were in each other's videos for, like, a minute. Right. Um, but I know a lot of people want me and James to do a collab at some point. I've had a lot Honestly. of messages. I've had a lot of messages about that. <laughs> and, um... I remember, because we were talking about it, and he said, this was back, I think, when I was on 2000, and he said, I'll wait until you get a bit more experienced, and then we'll see what we can do. Um, that, and as well, we need to find a reason to collab, so... Um, it'll make the story coherent. <clears throat> That's the right word. Why don't you do, like, a uh, Luigi and just take over his channel? <laughs> and he gets your channel for a week. No, that's a joke we have, because uh, when... Oh, hitting the desk. When we first started doing, well, when he was first doing Kadikara, so when I first appeared, there were a lot of comments about me and like who I was. There were people saying a lot of, let's say, inappropriate things. Let's um, not say them. Let's not. <laughs> let's not go into that area. No. Nope. Um, and there, and then everyone was like, oh, um, and then there was a stage where I wasn't in any of his videos for a while because he didn't have any need to script me in. And everyone was like, oh, where's Rosie? Oh, she, like, oh, you and her are so funny. And like, he, it was as if people thought I scripted his videos. 
And ever uh, so since, you were the writer and he was the actor kind of thing. That's what people thought for a while. I think oh. that's what I think some people were guessing that I had like involvement with the scripts, but um, I had no like in my scenes I had no involvement with his scripts at all, and. Um, just to like really annoy him because he hates it when I do this. I'm always like, I am Cadacarus. What you? You do nothing for the show. I script it all. I am the actress. I am Cadacarus, and he's just he just he has the face of as if to go, don't even go there. <laughs> <laughs> so I know I wind him up about that all the time. Yeah, but, I, uh... but yeah, I'd be happy to do a collab with anyone really. Like, anyone wants to do a collab or so, like, as long as it fits, as long as there's a reason for it. Yeah, you don't want to just troll one together. No, what, what, just... Troll one together? Try one, what, us two? No, you wouldn't want to just troll one together. Oh, like... wait, what? Hey, wait, what do you mean? So you mean, oh, what, just randomly? Yeah, randomly with no purpose. You'd want a reason why you do a collab with someone. Well, I'll be more than happy, like... Like, to appear in someone's video, that I'm fine with. Like, just chuck it in there. That's what, like, me and Hale did. Um, but I'm, like, for a full-on review of a collab, like, a full-on 20, 15 to 20 minute video, um, I think it has, like, I would probably want it to be something that either people, like, sort of have in common with someone or something mm. like that. Because, for example, if someone went, wanted me to do a full-on review of, uh, let's say Banjo Kazooie, for example, and yeah. I've never really played Banjo Kazooie, but I've been meaning to. I'm getting there. Um, so if someone just randomly said that, I'd be like, okay, I'm more than happy to do a collab with you at some point, but I wouldn't have anything to say about Banjo, probably. So, unless if they've got a good idea, if they can make it work, then I'm more than happy to join in. Or if I have an idea, and then it works. I don't know. I'm just, I'm an open book. If someone wants to do a collab, I'll be more than happy to jump in and have fun with it. I guess. Is the... Like, I saw the video um, James and the completionist did. Uh, the Jaws, the Jaws one. Or, and... Oh yeah, I was in that, wasn't I? Yeah. You're at the very beginning. And I loved what uh, the completionist said about you. <laughs> that made me so happy. <laughs> but no, because, like, I... Like, I still completely fan, like, a stardom about interaction with these people anyway. Like, um... Like, I talk to the completionist every now and then, and every time it is, it's like, oh, my God! Uh, so when that happened, and he went, oh, first Maiden Rosie, why have you? And all that stuff. I, like, literally, when Jane showed it to me, I was like, this is amazing i can say that i full-on interacted <laughs> yeah because if you if be uh because your brothers you probably talked to a lot of bigger like big youtubers like the completionist who i watch every week and i love his videos i wouldn't be a completionist because that seems like <laughs> it's too stressful it, it's so stressful he doesn't get to shave yeah so yeah that's so <laughs> stressful yeah, Just, but, you know. <laughs> but it'd be really weird because if you're probably like talking to a celebrity because YouTube's had a new celebrity like talking to Brad Pitt and just like him saying something like that you're like oh yeah no I'm exactly the same even though I'm in the YouTube scene now I think I've I've got less of it now but when I first started or when it was before I was even Professor Juice and then like I got the interactions with people every now and then like with the completionists I completely fanned out um but Nowadays, um, I think now I've, because I remember I was talking to James and he was like, because it's weird when people recognize him and stuff. And then like, I look at them and they're like, people are like, oh my God. Da, 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 da. And I just think that is me, <laughs> <laughs> but you're my brother. So I don't, you're an idiot. And then he's just like, yeah, just treat it like they're normal people. And that's what I do. And oh, my arm move. And yeah like nowadays it's just it's just cool it's just really cool to talk to people and meet and make new friends that's one thing i love about being on youtube you do make so many friends and i have made a lot of really awesome friends really cool guys and girls um but no yeah i still depending on the like if i first talk to someone i'm like oh my god i'm talking to you i've watched your stuff for ages 
I actually had, even though I do a lot of YouTube with this girl from England called Earth Lydia, mm-hmm. and we've been doing stuff nearly a year together, and between both of us, we've collected a lot, collected, yeah, with the collectors of a lot of YouTubers we work with from all over the world, America and England, and it's slowly building, and you can see their channel slowly building, but there was one YouTuber we worked with, and he completely found out, and I was just like, I know I only have a couple subscribers, but this guy truly loves our videos and watches every single one of them. And he's Aww. like, is this really ho- the man I'm talking to right now? I was like, yeah, yeah, man, thanks. <laughs> it's a weird feeling, isn't it? Like, It is, and, I'm, I'm sh- and you you probably talked, you completionist, that, he's huge. I've never <laughs> talked to completionists, I'm like, I don't know what to say. Um... Do you wash your beards? <laughs> <laughs> um, like oh, with these like people like the completionists, I don't talk to them that much because I understand that they're very busy people. Yeah. Um, I think the last time I spoke to a lot of people was I spoke to Brutal Moose a couple of weeks ago because I know he moved house and I was just like, oh, how did the move go? Um, but I got talking to a lot of people for the 21st birthday video I did for James. Yeah, that was re- that was a nice video. Oh, and thank all, you. And all he did was jug- Jungle Book for you. <laughs> yeah, how dare he? <laughs> um, but when I was organising that together, um, I was so happy about how many people responded and said they were happy to do it because I thought loads of people would be like, um, they were like, oh, we're, there were a few people who were like, oh, sorry, I'm really busy. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. Um, but... And then it got me, like, I got to know people a bit better. I got in contact with a few more people. And it was just really nice that everyone was so happy to get involved with it. I was super happy with that. And it made them cry, so I was like, yes. Ah, oh, deadly. I always try to get my little sister to cry. It never works. <laughs> you can only pinch someone's arm so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because you had, like, in that video, you had two uh, reviewers that I absolutely love. I never remember the names. Uh, is it John Underground? Jordan Underneath. Yeah, I, I got his name. John wrong. Underground. <laughs> I absolutely love his videos. And I was like, oh, he's in the video. Because Dave's done a few stuff together. But I was like, he's such a creepy. He's so oh, creepy. Oh, I love him. Is I he, love him a bit. I'd love to know if he's just like a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, he's like because he, he's really good friends with James. And every now and then I'm like, oh, how's Jordan doing? He's like, yeah, he's fine. I'm like... Like, even hearing about people, I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I love his videos. Check his channel out nearly every other day to see this have a new one. <laughs> now it's up once a week, so I know when to go. It's good. It's great because it's great seeing these people you like with other YouTubers and really growing together. I think that, yeah, because I remember, um, because, bless, before I put the video on YouTube, I showed it to my mum. Because I don't, and my stepdad, because they didn't really understand what I was doing. Um, so when I showed it to them, and literally, I don't think my mum and stepdad, they they don't understand the whole YouTube thing. Um, but I was like, oh, I had no influence from these messages at all. Um, but I'll show you what I've done for him. And literally afterwards, they were like, wow, we didn't realise he, mean, he meant that much to some people. My stepdad's favourite was Jordan, because he was like, he looks like a murderer. <laughs> He does. Like he is. Ah. Oh. But I still love. Um, but like, what I mean, like people put so much effort into it. And it's awesome to see, like YouTubers and stuff, just put in so much effort into things they love doing, and especially if it's for someone else. I think that's why James really got emotional over it. He was like, "Oh, this guy." But yeah. no, that's super cool to do. Yeah, I'd I'd really fangirl over a lot of them, YouTubers. Like who? Who else? Jordan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My mind wandered. I'm thinking about all of the YouTubers. Um, That's so emotional. <laughs> yeah. Scarf Tulu? Is that Scarf? Scarfulu. Scarfulu. Dad has such awkward names. <laughs> I remember I couldn't like spell his name for ages like whenever I tried to look him up on YouTube I could never get it but now it's just I think uh, it's just drilled into my mind now how to spell his name because him, uh, him and Jordan are two people I really like watching because they have such 
different styles of videos. Yeah. One's really like, hi, oh, hey, hey, how's things? I wear a scarf, even though it's boiling out. The other one's in, in the basement, thinking about ways to kill life. Kill people and doing his makeup and stuff. And they were in the videos, and they're two YouTubers that I definitely fan over. And I, w I hope I wouldn't fan over about many YouTubers, but I definitely just like, give me a second, I'm going to go to Penny's and buy you some underwear so I can throw at you. <laughs> just throw underwear at you. Here's, here's, here's a scarf. I wore it a little bit. There you go. <laughs> just wear it around your neck, it's yeah. beautiful. It has your scent. <laughs> <laughs> So um yeah we talked the collaborations it was a great video and I uh, I love your top tens I loved uh, your top ten boyfriends and games it was such a <laughs> and even just like uh, guys do best you know best girlfriends best things about girls why can't I do this about boys <laughs> I was like should I be watching this video I, I love it because a lot of people say with that video I think that's my favorite one I've done so far because seriously. I've had what I call boyfriends in gaming and films. I've had that list for ages, many years. And and I was talking to James's girlfriend, Karis, about it. And it was I was going to do top 10 manly bottoms in gaming, which I might do one point. I think I'll do that just for her. Um, <laughs> but then I was like, Karis, I should do one of my boyfriends. I've always got boyfriends. And she's like, so I think that was the most personal video I've done. And that's why I went so wait shit crazy with it. Like, mm -hmm. half of that was improvised. I didn't expect to do the, the um, K Sera Sera song when I was just like, Where's Sera Sera? Um, but no, with that video, I really do love that one. That's a, it's one that's dear to my heart. Is there any, because of YouTube and copyright, has there any been serious copyright issues you've had? Or what way do you get clearance to do these? I haven't had any copyright issues uh, yet, but it is something that I'm always thinking about. I'm always, whenever I'm editing, so my rule is, if I, I barely use Nintendo stuff, because... It's safe. Very safe. Because Nintendo, you just don't want to go there. Yeah. Um, and if I do, like, there are some sections in my videos where I'm mine, or like when I'm, like I did that in my top 10 cheesy games with, especially the Sonic Heroes themes. And if I do do that, my rule is maximum 8 seconds of just the song on its own, right. max. Um, and if I can talk over, if, if I can talk over the music, then it's fine because the audio waves aren't the same because I've got sounds within it. Um, but it is something I've always, even with the video I've just done now, I'm just finishing it up. Um, I had a massive moment where I thought, crap, this could get really copyrighted. So I had to alter it a bit, change it over, and I've managed to get it down to my just audio of just eight second rule. So hopefully it should be fine, but it is something that's always on my mind. I hate it. <laughs> uh, I know uh, some YouTubers uh, before they even do a game, and th these again would be small YouTubers would go off and email the companies that own the games and all this. And I, one of the lads, technically I don't know if he was allowed to tell me this, but he was trying to do the new Lego game, mm -hmm. and he said you can only use five minutes. Of the game, your videos can only be five minutes and no cutscenes. <sighs> I was like, that's a bit rough. That is super rough. That's why I'm quite happy I don't do any modern games. Yeah, it's. Yeah, that was like. Five minutes and no cutscenes. Yeah. I mean, you barely have anything to work with on that. Yeah. That was an interesting one. And, like, I've tried to get uh, permission off companies, but then I do games that the companies don't exist anymore, so who owns it? And then he was like, fuck it, I'll email them, and I'll start it. If I get any problems, I'll just say, I'll email them. Yeah, if I get any problems, I'll just be like, oh, I'm happy to remove it, or I can change it. Like, I'm happy to, as long as I just don't get, like, a flag, or so, I'll just get put down. Um, but I was talking to my friend about this, cause, um, especially with the Parappa stuff, because I flat out use the music for those. Um, and I said to my friend, I was like, oh, God, I'm going to get copyrighted. And he went, Rosie, to be fair... No, the company doesn't do anything anymore. No one really knows that sort of stuff. Like a few people do, but it's not like a big modern new game. And they said, so, so we, I think you'll be all right. And I haven't been copyrighted for it yet. So. Mm. That worrying yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's just a massive fear that I've, or you've always got in the back of your head, especially 
because with the video I've just done, it's I decided to do one like a sound, like a music ton list, and like you know, people are like, oh, my top ten twenty soundtracks gaming and this, that, and the other. Um, but my one isn't that. Mine's uh, quite a goofy one, as always. But that using the music, you're always paranoid. Just I'm always oh, it just drives me up the flipping wall. <laughs> That's that's good. Um, do you find? Do you ever find? Uh, can you watch or listen to your old videos when you're you're, you're doing your wild Shakespearean acting? Shakespeare! <laughs> could could you could you watch like? Cause I can't watch any of the videos I've done. Just as like my voice annoys me. Oh, my voice drives me up the flipping wall. It's so deep. Can you hear my voice? <laughs> I have In my one. head, I'm Barry White, but when I listen to it, I'm Barry Scott. <laughs> oh, not many people get that reference. Good. I think I get it, unless I'm on a completely different wavelength. But, no, like, watching my own stuff, I can't watch my things back with my friends who I've known since I've been at school. Like, uh, people who've known me before I was, like, people who've known me since I was, like, 12. And then they watch back my stuff because they do nothing but take the mic. And I Because <laughs> of course they would. They're just... Yeah. And, like, I sit there and then they, they're they like, oh, let's watch Professor Jones. <laughs> and then they're like, no, 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 no. Because my stuff is cheesy. I have a very cheesy channel. But I'm fine with that because I'm just an idiot. Um, but it's like... And then when they put it... Because my friend, he has, like, one of his TVs is just a projection... And then they just put it on that. And then when I see my face on, like, his big screen doing my, hello, my juicy, juicy friends out there and all that, I'm like, oh, my God, turn it off now. <laughs> but after a while, I, I can come back to it. I can come back to the juice lips because that's not just me. And because I have so many good memories around how we made those. Um, so they are good. I can watch those back fine. Juicy treats I can watch back fine because I've developed... But mm -hmm. my older stuff, like, I haven't even looked back on my top 10 cheesy video games list. Because that was the first big video I did. And I listened to the mic. That was when I had, like, a stick for a microphone. Mm -hmm. And the audio is like, And I'm like, oh, God, no. Why? Why have you I forsaken me? <laughs> Don't look at me. But the more I've developed, the more tolerable let's say i can watch it i mean the other day i watched because i get emails from every comment that pump someone's put on my channel or on my videos and like um i've had a lot for my metal gear solid gc treat and every now and then i'll just do that i always i don't know why i really like watching back the mantis bit when i do mantis's voice because i just love doing his voice and it's so much fun to do so every now and then i'll just be like but I no, it depends. It depends on what it is, and whether if I do watch it back, it has to be after a very long time, a very long time. But my voice, if I, if only I had a more feminine voice, <laughs> rather than this deep rubbish bin of a recyclable paper bin voice. <laughs> I don't even know how people could listen to my voice. It's uh, your your channel is so it's cheesy but it's such a fun it's always a good experience you, you you're never gonna be in a bad mood you're always oh thank you uh the fun like the the foot that the cheap cheap cake I st I I um there's certain videos I watch a lot and when I go to YouTube it says would you like to watch these videos again your your video is always there <laughs> and there's a few other videos always there from YouTubers and all that and it's like. Yeah, why not? I enjoy. I like. I enjoy the tune. I and I love. In, I don't know if it's in the extras you said. Yeah, I can't do my own hair. They had to do it for me, and it's just like you put a hat. Oh yeah, I am. I am crap with my hair. Like, my mum's a hairdresser, and she's always like, "Rosa, I need to cut your hair." And I'm like, "No, you don't. That's fine." <laughs> <laughs> I don't. All I care is the flick in my hair. That's the only thing that drives me up the wall. Everything else is fine. To 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 mighty strong flick. Mighty strong. I do would like to have the mighty strong flick in my videos. If it's flat, then I have to be there for ages making sure it's mighty strong. Yeah. But um, <laughs> mighty strong flick. Would, but, would you ever try to get sponsored by Juicy Fruits? No, I didn't actually think about getting sponsored by anything juice related. 
Juicy fruits. Juicy fruits. If I did, that'd be adorable. Yeah. I think I should. Should try. <laughs> <Thank> you now. <laughs> yeah, wear the t-shirts. It was like, oh, I'm just wearing some juicy fruit t-shirts. <laughs> Do you want a juicy fruit t-shirt from Professor Juice? Well, here they are right now. Go to my webpage. Juicyfruits. Hash, like slash Professor Juice. Pro Juice. Mrs. Juice. Mrs. Juice. <laughs> That's what you can do in 10 years, Mrs. Juice. Mrs. Ju that could be a name for another show, but I would have no idea what it would be to be called Miss Juice. <laughs> Miss Juice. Miss a Juice. lot of mysteries. Mm. Oh, I could investigate. I could do a game theory, uh, even though I... <laughs> I'd just be like, you definitely so get the mystery. You definitely Wait get copyrighted. Why does Clown have such big boots or something? Because he can walk in them, I don't know. <laughs> This week's mystery. Why is Crash Bandicoot very bad in the last five years? Why did he get tattoos? Yes. Was but he that's... drunk? <laughs> and he's, was he with Spyro that night? <laughs> Spyro has not a single tattoo but on his foot of Crash. He just has a crumpled up face now. Spyro's just all like, Neigh. it's all crumpled up. Yeah, do they even make Spyro games anymore? Yeah, well, they put got them in Skylanders. That's not technically a Spyro game, but they had like, um, they had one where like Spyro was the front cover and it was of his side, and there was a moon in the background. I'm trying to, I can't remember for the life of me what it was called because I just sort of shunned Spyro. The last Spyro game I played, like the most recent one, was A Hero's Tale, I think. Right. That's... Or the Crash and Spyro crossover at Game Boy yeah, That's Advanced. that's the last game I played of both of them. Yeah. It's, I haven't played any more recent games than them. I just don't. I just don't want myself to. I just don't don't want to destroy myself. <laughs> I need to live in the past, not the future. <laughs> Before you had to rubbish tattoos. I don't like change. But no. that's that's one game um, I'm going to review at one point. Um, Crash of the Titans. I'm saving that one. <laughs> because they were they were just walking on pawns. <laughs> I'm sure they just spent all year gone. <sighs> Should we start working on the game? No, we haven't come up with a title yet. <laughs> Due dates in six months. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Right? We'll use the last engine and be fine. Just change your names. All right? What's your name be? No idea. <laughs> I haven't got that far yet. Uh... Should we change his colour to slightly different purple? No. <laughs> Should we give him a tattoo? Definitely not. That didn't work for Crash. At least it's not as bad. Oh, oh, again. At least it's not as bad as Sonic. Their reboot oh, they got. I, I always take the mick out of Sonic. I've taken the mick out of him quite a bit in this video I've got coming up, <laughs> which is quite. <laughs> they, <laughs> but they really haven't done anything good in years. They had uh, Sonic Colors was a good game. And I still have played that, but I want to. I want to give that a go. And Sonic Generations. Oh, I love Sonic Generations. It's like every seven game is good and every other set six games are crap Sonic 06 <laughs> in between like oh there's more videos on Sonic 06 than um, anything on YouTube <laughs> it's just the, more than kittens yes kittens I was gonna go for the uh, what was that music video never gonna give you up never gonna never let you down. down never gonna turn around and hurt you I like that song it's beautiful it's called Rick Rolling or something when you do that to someone on YouTube. I don't know. All I, all I know is at the moment, like I'm playing MGS Five at the moment, and it's got take um take on me or take me on, take and every me. time I'm running about, I just go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so I'm taking out these like soldiers, like tranquilizing them, and being like. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so much fun. I love see. I love cheesy music like that as well. I just love cheese. That is always good. Sorry, I kicked my bin there. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna. There's a part of the, uh, the interview that I rob questions. Um, I've always robbed these questions. I've done. I think this might be my eighth. Uh, I can't even find a channel. This has been my like eight review. Uh, not review. Yeah, I'm reviewing these YouTubers <laughs> and models. Which is really bad. Uh, <laughs> interviews. I think it's like the eighth or ninth interview I've done, and I've robbed these interviews from inside the actor studio. 
and um, only one YouTuber I've done this with refused to answer them. Matt, I'm not going to say his name. Matt. <laughs> no, don't go there. No. 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 Uh, before we before I start the questions, um, what's your? It's only back, and you know I'm going to be a stereotype and say you're English. What's your opinion on Doctor Who? I'm not Doctor Who. Um, I always I love it. You're English. You must love Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Doctor Who, I I grew up with Tom Baker as the Doctor, so he would always be my favourite. And then I didn't watch it. Like, I've never really watched it. I watched the David Tennant when he was the Doctor. Mm. And that was because I was a young teenager. And it's like, oh, David Tennant! Um, And then all my friends were watching it. And it's just something. There was just the thing you needed to watch at that point. But after David Tennant, I just stopped watching it, really. I've got friends who are still obsessed with it. Like, I've got one of my friends, and she's always like, ah, Doctor Who! I would love it! Um, But... No, it's all right. I haven't got a problem with it. I'm not a big lover of it. Mm. I could, it's something I could watch, but not take time out of my day to watch. Right, right. Mm. Mm. Poetic. Poetic, yeah. They can't see any of this. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see the hand gesture of you just being like, flu, flu, flu. It's all my arms waving about. They're just like, ah, it's fine. Yeah. I, I only got this webcam a few weeks ago, and I... Uh, because I spent a lot of joke time spending jokes with Lydia, I spent a good two hours just making visual jokes, <laughs> and I had to tie my hair up because I'll just be playing with it for the la- for the two hours. What just with your hair like? Oh, how pretty does it look? Oh yeah, 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 It's it's really nice. Thank you for asking. I just had it cut. I just love it so much. I put so many hours into how it looks. You don't know how many years it's taken me to grow this hair. It's been years, lads. It's been years, right? <laughs> Stop asking me questions about it. Uh, so I'll start with the, the first question. that People just don't like this first question. What is your favourite word? My favourite word? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. My favourite word, what, is in in general or what I say the most? It's just the word you like the most. It's gonna sound really typical, but I re- I love the word juice. <laughs> if not juice, then awesome. Either awesome or juice. It's, it's, it's but, both nice answers. Well, I like I love the word juice because it it just flows. It's like <laughs> it flows like juice. It flows ah, <laughs> into a cup. But down. um, no, I just think juice is a really cute little word. It's like juice. You can make it cute. You can be like juice. I, I just, it's, the, it's a flexible word. And yeah, awesome's it's... just awesome. So everyone loves awesome. It is pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. <laughs> it is pretty awesome. Yeah. So what is your least favorite word? Revision. Ah. I, tests. Not because I really I enjoy revision. Like when I was doing like my exams and stuff, I would more I'd be more than happy to sit in the library for like two hours revising everything. Um. But the word itself, I hate saying it. It's like revision. It's like re and then vision. And then you say it, revision. Re- it's just like, revision. It's just an effort word. <laughs> I only realised this when I was talking to my friends about it. And then I was like, oh, how are you getting on with your revision? And when you say it, it's like revision. So I probably, not because of what revision is, but because of the word itself. That's probably why I don't like the word revision. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so I don't know why he phrases it, but I changed this. The next two I changed is what creatively turns you on. What's that? What creatively turns you on? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't what, have the word. So... He doesn't have the word creative. So wait, what? The word is <laughs> what turns you on. <laughs> so I I always change what creatively turns you on to do things. What aspires you to do? What things. aspires me? That's yeah. a better. Okay. What aspires me? He um, asks people. He asks Brad Pitt and all this. What turned you on? <laughs> I'm sure he said my wife. <laughs> what turned you off? My ex-wife. Well, like, so what aspires me to do video stuff? Yeah. What inspires you to do stuff on YouTube? Um, entertaining people. I've always been. I've, I've always loved being eccentric, presenting, maybe making people laugh. I'm one, I'm all one for making people laugh. 
And when, so what inspires me is when I do a video and then I get, even from when you've said that you watch like my cheap, cheap uh, fish cake wrapper video over and over again, I, knowing that I'm bringing, making other people laugh, that's what inspires me, I think. The feeling, yeah, the feeling that I'm being entertained, the, the entertaining. Oh, that's good. What? What turns you off? I really had to rephrase these ones. Um, let's see. Creatively, so and what takes aspirants off you? Um, I've I've been really fortunate in the way that I haven't had actually that many, like not to sound snobby or anything, but I haven't actually had that many bad comments. But oh, that is, I I got a guy to say, uh, you stupid fuck, you stupid as fuck. <laughs> But like things like that, I know like everyone ignores them and stuff, but I think I got one comment, I can't remember what it was. Um, I do get like a few bad comments, and I think there are some moments like that where it, do, it does bring you down a bit. But at the end of the day, I get more Positive. aspiring comments than those. So if anything, it does knock people down. I know people are like, oh, I ignore them, but it, but it can knock you down like one step off your stare way um so yeah that would probably be the thing that's least aspiring let's say but but no you just soldier on don't you i'm having fun doing it people are having fun watching it so that was the most english thing i've ever heard i'm just shot soldier on just soldier on about it so <laughs> english yeah i say that when i'm like got a cold or something i'm just like no just soldier on and then i just go to work and it's fine because you, I've had it. You could have uh, just like ten really nice uh, messages, and you have one bad one. You like, <sighs> yeah. And then you're just there, and you like you love the nice messages, and then you get that one bad. And you're just like, oh my God, where am I there? I'm just gonna go to bed now. But then when you look back over, it, and then you can take the mick out of it, which is what I did. It, it it it's fine. It gives you another boost. It boosts you up again. Mm -hmm. Wh what sound or noise do you love? And do please I lo do not what? say juice. What sound do I love? It's gonna sound really cheesy, but laughter. Ah, that's, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> I'm a very strong believer in laughter is the best medicine. And I even did a whole speech on it at school. Um, I literally jumped in the middle of the speech. But no, I'm a bit like whenever I hear people laugh or yeah, I think that's probably my favorite noise, laughter. No. That and they can be so freaking different as well, and it makes it even more funny. And then when so when someone truly laughs, yeah, Cause got, you know, because everyone's got different laughs with different things. And when I truly laugh, I wheeze. <laughs> like I'm there, I'm like Muttley from Stop the Pigeon and all that, and. Uh, so when I do truly laugh and I'm just there silently and then every now and then I go <laughs> like that and then when other people laugh like that or when they have the really loud cackles, you know when they're like <laughs> I just love it I think it's hilarious <laughs> you don't know how to process you're just like oh my god I my brother showed me this video the other day and it's about his teen werewolf oh right yes and then um, I was on the bus and it just came to me and this girl is staring at me and I'm trying not to laugh I'm looking at the window oh please don't laugh it was building uh, I won't I won't say what the video is about now because it's just not appropriate but it's so funny <laughs> because it's not appropriate oh I'm so funny oh, I was in stitches <laughs> I do that if like I'm in public or something, and because me and my friends we're quite, uh, we're quite bold. Let's say so. If we find something funny, we will. So when, for example, I find something really funny, and I'm out in public, I just end up crouching on the floor. Like literally, I will just curl up in a ball, just laughing, and people look at you. But I'm just like, well, I'm, I'm having a good time. You're, I don't an, care. you're an entertainer. You're supposed to entertain people. <laughs> yes, by crouching on the floor as if I'm dying, but I'm actually laughing. I like to make people laugh. I like to make people laugh. So yeah, that's probably my favourite noise. That's that's good and we got a bit of a story. What sound or noise do you hate? 
Oh god, I know this one. Heavy breathing. In like horror situations. Because <laughs> Okay, hear me out. So I was playing this film started out when I was playing MGS3. And I was on the ends boss and I was really intense. This was the first time I played it. And I was really intense. I was looking for the end, because you know it's like a massive sniper battle. Mm. And um mm. and then I was looking for it for ages. I suddenly just heard this <sighs> like really heavy old man breathing and it freaked me out I paused the game I didn't want to turn it back on and then I got and then this was back when James lived with us and he was like oh go on go on you do it now so it did and then of course he was behind me and he was like good night or something and killed me that freaked me out and now whenever I play a horror game and there's heavy breathing involved from like a monster or a person who's behind you oh it freaks me out I hate it that's the one thing I can't stand in horror games. Heavy breathing. Heavy breathing. And I've got, I've got a friend who knows this, so whenever it's like Halloween time, we're like, oh, I bet he's going to do it this year. But he'll just come up behind me and just be like... <sighs> and I'm just like... <sighs> you, must get... you must hate people with asthma. <laughs> um, no, I'm fine with it in common situations, like asthma and stuff, but when it's in an intense horror situation... Which is why it was really fun when I was, um, because I studied theatre in school, and... <laughs> you can tell, you can very much tell. Oh, sorry, I'm very expressive with my arms. <laughs> I get that a lot. But I studied theatre in school, and we had to do um, a performance based on, um, I can't remember the guy's name now, but basically he's a really... Shakespeare? Huh? Shakespeare? Yes, Shakespeare! <laughs> no, it wasn't Shakespeare, like, this guy's really dark. Like, he does all sorts of, like, horror performances, and we had to replicate it. And the thing is, with his performance, there's no personal boundaries. So we were allowed to pick up random people from around school. We're like, oh, do you want to watch a performance? It's going to be fun. Come on, let's do it. So they came to watch. We all dressed up really gothically and horror and stuff, and I could literally just go up with the people, and I was going, <sighs> like, right in their faces. And, like, they could feel my breath down their neck. And, like, you can't touch them. But like, and then I get their chair and I just like drag them like, <laughs> like bringing them closer to me. Oh, it's so much fun to do. So I can understand why people do it, but it scares the crap out of me. What profession other than your own would you like to attend? Uh, be on YouTube. What on YouTube would you love to do? So wait, what on YouTube would I love to do? Yeah, besides what you're doing now, what would you love to try to do? I would love to try and do... <laughs> I would love to try and do, like, um, a speed run of drawings. And that was annoying, because I really enjoy... Wait, this is for YouTube, right? So if I had another... So is this, like, if I had another yeah, thing to go on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, because I really enjoy, like, doing um, drawings, be it, like, pencil drawings and, like, cartoons and things like that. Um, so if I just want to have like a chill time or something, I would quite like to do like, you know, people draw and they do speed runs and stuff like that. So yeah, I reckon I could do that. And if not, I've always wanted to do like a really goofy how-to. Like for example, like how to get the boys. And then I'll get exactly. one of my friends. Just like I... that, how to get the boys. Yeah, you have to put de and then boys is spelled B-O-I-S. Boys. boys. And then I literally run up to my friend being like, hey boy. <laughs> And just nah. keep like would, you, would you be dressed like Eggman for that bit? <laughs> yes. Flat oh. out, yes. <laughs> so, but yeah, because um, it was on your uh, your video we were talking about earlier on, the Q&A, where you got to see some of your drawings. I was like, oh, they're, they're really, actually, they're quite good. It's a crap compliment, but it's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> any compliment? Oh, no, thank you. I love any uh -huh. any and all compliments. I love, it really gives me a boost. Any and all compliments. I love them all. Like, uh, what profession on YouTube would you hate to do? I would hate to do. Um. Ooh. I'd probably hate to do. Like. Like, I'm fine with doing, like, an update video, but you know people do, like, constant vlogs, like, um, like, when they seriously go, like, how to do my makeup really nice and things like that. Um, because I'm not the best in terms of, let's say, beauty things. 
So if someone said, oh, can you please, like, advertise our new hair straighteners? I'd be like, I can't even use hair straighteners. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Don't that's get my me. brother. He, he would love that. <laughs> what, if that, like, a video on how to do use hair straighteners? Yeah, yeah. He's the best guy for it. It's perfect hair. It's a bit short, but it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, I think advertising beauty products, that would probably be my... Not my best forte, let's say, to do things on. Hmm. So I'll go with that. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? You've got the juice! <laughs> <laughs> Done, next question. <laughs> that, that is actually the last question of the top, uh, the, the inside Yattis robbed questions. Really? So yeah, what? yeah, it's something like 10. They're, they're good questions. Oh wait, I missed, I actually missed one. Sorry, complete. I skipped one. Sorry. <gasps> That's it. I don't want to be on the show anymore. This is just appalling. Well, it's only been fifty-nine minutes. <laughs> what is your favorite curse word? Oh, it's between two. Was it the one I use the most, or what's my favorite to use? It's favorite we use, and uh, my channel is on PC, so you can say whatever the fuck you want. My, <laughs> you, say, you say whatever the fuck you want. Uh, I try not to curse, but I'm Irish. I know, I'm the same. I try not to curse, but sometimes you just naturally curse and you can't help it. But um, but then there's some YouTubers that I was like, just curse, just curse, just curse. You, and there's YouTubers I know who say they don't want to curse, but then they're trying, constantly friends are trying to get them the on camera to say fuck and you're like I actually just want to hear what this person say fuck <laughs> I'd probably pay to go and see this YouTuber say fuck <laughs> if I say if I say um, the, I'm going to say the F word if I say that in a review I know then I usually do it in like a goofy way like I'm like fuck or something like that because then like it's more phlegm cool. yeah more phlegm <laughs> gotta get the get the get the throaty phlegm <laughs> Um, but no, my favourite uh, curse word to use is probably bastard, but I say it like bastard. Because I'd be like, oh, you cheeky bastard, or oh, you're such a bastard. Or if I do it like seriously, I'm like, you bastard. I say it quite a few times. Yeah, I wouldn't. Either that or shit. Yeah. See, I, I wouldn't class, I don't think you would class bastard as a bad word. Inappropriate word. Many. Inappropriate word, a curse word. But yeah, bastard or shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd say either bastard or shit. Probably bastard. I find the most goofy. Yeah, it's, weird. it's a fun one to say bastard. Bastard, so, especially if you're British, because then everyone expects you to say it like bastard. Ba- bastard. It's it's bastard. Kind of... And then if you say shit, a lot of the time I go shit. Shit. Well, but bastard is very like master. <laughs> <laughs> that was so harmonic. Yeah, that was, uh, good harmonics, good harmonics. It's good room, good green room. <laughs> Should make an album. Just be like, bastard! Yeah. yeah. Uh, is <laughs> um, so, with them 10 questions out, we still have three more hours of this interview to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've still got a whole nother day. Yeah. I don't do a half ask. I don't do a half ask. I got the idea of doing long interviews from Kevin Pollock's chat show. He okay, did, right. Yeah, and he doesn't do short interviews. Like, do, um, do you know Eddie Izzard? Yes. He did a two and a half hour interview with Eddie Izzard. And it's amazing. And he basically does... His interviews last at least an hour. But his longest was nearly three hours. Mm-hmm. And it's just talking and asking questions. And I yeah, love the idea. Talk, yeah, Because you don't have the whole boring... You know, if, you, you, if there's not as you love, you want to go, oh, I want to learn more about him. So you Google him, you learn more. And it's an interview, a recent interview. I was like, oh, I dare you talk to him. And like two minutes long. And they could spend a minute just going, oh, what do you think of this movie? Yeah, it was, um, hmm. You spend a minute thinking before they answer. Because I, yeah, my problem is that if someone asks me, so for example, if someone asks me like, um, oh, what's your favourite film? And then I say it and then they're like, oh, why? I could rap on for ages about it or especially especially with video games i am a huge rancer when it comes to like that's why with my juicy um my juicy treats it can be quite hard to script because my rule for that is i try and do them in a page like i try and script a page because they're meant to be short videos but it's so hard to compact so much you want to talk about 
in mm. that space. Um, but no, like, we, we, yeah, just casual conversation. It's just cool, just chilled. Mm. The back and forth, where mainly I ask back questions. Back and forth banter. <laughs> mainly I ask the questions, you don't ask me questions, because then it's just a conversation. But I try to go for a conversational approach, but make it sound professional. Professional, do you have, like, it's like, people can't see the camera, but he's actually wearing a top hat right now. There is a top hat downstairs. Is there a top hat downstairs? There is a top hat downstairs. I think you should put it on. <laughs> he's gonna get the top hat! He's flat, he's gone to get the top, it's amazing. I have a top hat, but it's fake. Now I'm just here talking to myself, this is great. <laughs> ah, shit, my desk. Sorry, I keep on hitting my desk, because I'm in my office right now, so. And I'm very expressive with my arms, so I just keep on hitting things. He can decide if he wants to cut this bit out or not. <laughs> I'm just here talking away. While he's getting the top hat. That's when he comes back and he's like, what are you talking He's back! Oh my god, you've got loads of hats. Yeah, so I have a... A Fez. Good old Fez, trusty companion. Yeah. Um, Pirata. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that kind of suits me for some reason. It looks really small on you, it's like... Yeah, it is. <laughs> a real... Uh, French oh, Snapchat. suave hat. You look like um, Bill Bailey with that. I hope I keep my hair, though. <laughs> we have a... Uh, not sponsored by Captain Morgan's. <laughs> totally not Captain Morgan hat. Yeah, that has a weird-shaped hat, though. You meant to do it from the front. The pointy bit's meant to be at the front. Oh, that. Oh, my God, have you just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't own that hat. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Is that <laughs> stupid? <laughs> That makes so much more sense. Uh, <laughs> now you can go to all the fancy dress parties looking as if you know how to wear the hat. Yeah, wow. Actually, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. you're taking yourself out. It's like, yeah, I quite like that. It's quite good. <laughs> yes. And the... Um, Bloodborne. Mm -hmm. So I'll continue the interview with a top hat on. With a top hat on. Perfect. It's got, I like the little dent it's got in the front. It gives it a bit of character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been through a few things. There's lots of hats on the ground now. Actually, I can only see. Yeah, yeah, they're all there. So, um, I'm wearing a top hat now. I'll have a bit of orange. A bit of orange. <laughs> a bit of orange. Okay. But I don't act, I'm not actually that big of a fan of juice. <laughs> like, is in juice itself. Really? Like, I like juice, don't get me wrong, but it's not my... F I always drink water, but mm. it's, like, not something I'd, like, go to town and be like, Mum, we need more juice! It's, it's, all, it's... It's a drink, and I can drink it. Well, you've heard it here first. She doesn't actually like juice. <laughs> I like juice. I'm just not a big fan of juice. It's like... It's like someone breaking up with someone. You see, I liked you in the beginning. <laughs> I don't like we, Jesus, we, I'm still breaking up with someone. We we got on well, you know, I've used your name, but I think, I think, you know, I actually think I'm into apples more than juice these days. <laughs> I love it when people comment on videos and they're like, um, oh, we all know it's got the juice, but what about apple juice? And they're like, what juice am I? And I'm like, there's no type of juice, you've just got the juice. The juice. The juice. Really, it's blood. That's the juice you Yeah, have. really, it's actually blood. Yeah, that's the Halloween scoop you got there. Oh, maybe I could use that for a Halloween scoop. Would I be able to do it? I'll be, I might be able to do a juicy treat. Aha! I know what I'm going to do for juice. Okay, thank you. You've been, okay, you've given me an idea. Perfect. But I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> You're like, uh, where did... Uh, so, I've heard the story, but I'm sure no one of my... Well, my 12 fans would know. Where does I mean, one hundred and twenty fans. Out of one thousand two hundred, or one million two fans. Mm. <laughs> Different points of time, yeah. <laughs> if you're a time traveler, this 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 video has a trillion at this point. <laughs> yeah, this is for the future people. Yeah, future people. Yeah, yeah. I I now own YouTube. <laughs> I am now the president of YouTube. Mm. I am also a robot. <laughs> I own the moon. I have a moon cake and the moon. Oh, moon. Oh, I can imagine moon cake. 
I can imagine being quite solid. The moon or the cake? Like a cake that's called a moon cake. Because the moon's quite a solid substance. Yeah. So you'd want like quite a solid cake. Or it could be spongy because like there's like it's all airy on the moon and like no gravity and stuff, so it might it could be quite a spongy cake. Oh no, I actually have first spongy moon cake. A yeah, hard moon cake <laughs> sounds rubbish. Well you just like get a fork and just like boom pick up the whole cake with us and just eat it. Or it breaks the fork. <laughs> yeah, just bends it, it's like Another fork. And another one bites the dust. Do 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 Anyway, sorry, what were you going to ask? So where did the actual name Professor Juice come from? Where did it come from? Um, as I, yeah, I said it, as they said in my three Q&A video, the Professor comes from Professor Layton, and Juice comes from what is becoming a catchphrase, no matter what people say, it's becoming a thing, um, from Dimitri in Sly Cooper 3, when he goes, Juice, who's got the juice? Which is why I use it on my title, and the reason, <laughs> the reason I actually did it was because I was listening to Greasy Sweet one day at work, no, at school, and um, I thought, yeah, this could so this could become a hip teen phrase. I can imagine all the kids being like, "Juice, who's got the juice?" and being like, "Ah, oh, you've got the juice," and because I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, I went to school and I started saying it to my friends and they were like, Oh my god, can you please stop saying that? And he's, I was like, no, you guys just don't have the juice. Yeah, he's, he's, just, he's not got it yet. He's not got it. He's not it's like, it. you guys just don't have the juice yet. Um, and then like, oh, if they have like a sandwich and then they let me have a bite, I'm like, the sandwich has got the juice. And they're like, why did we let you have the sandwich? Um, and I'm determined to make it become a thing. Right. And all my friends, even to this day, it's been like um, a year since I've been Professor Juice, nearly, in November, I think. And they're still saying to me, oh, Rosie, it's still not a thing. No matter how much you put it on YouTube, it will never become a thing. And I've even got people who are in, who I've met from YouTube telling me it's not going to become a thing. And I'm going to prove everyone wrong. And it is going to, I'm going to have all the cool kids saying it. I'm going to, all the kids are going to be walking around being like, ah, oh, it's got the juice. If swag can become a thing, so can the juice, god damn it. Yeah, yeah. it so, <laughs> you can either do it by two ways. One, you get all the big YouTubers to say it. Or two, you become a big YouTuber and you just constantly say it. Yeah, I'll probably have to be the first option. <laughs> yeah. But I do like it, like when, um... Like when I went to a Eurogamer, someone came up to me and they were like, uh, they were like, oh, you're Professor Juice. And I was like, oh my god. I literally hugged this guy because it was the first time I was recognised as Professor Juice. And um, because I was starstruck from someone calling me Professor Juice, it really weird, I was starstruck about someone knowing me as Professor Juice. And I was talking to my friend later and I said, oh, I should have said they got the juice. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how many people, like so many people in the comments, or like if I put something on Facebook and Twitter, they say, have I got the juice? And um, I'm always like, you've got the juice. Um, so it is becoming a thing. People like being told they've got the juice, uh, I think. It's branding. It's good branding. Who got the juice? <laughs> Wait until it's on t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big orange t-shirts with bad font. So you mm -hmm. don't actually see it. If you look at it at a certain angle, you go, oh, you got the juice. Like, with yeah. bad shadow effects. <laughs> bad shadow effects. Or you get a black t-shirt with mask and tape and you put on, you got the juice. Mm -hmm. And you sell them for 20 euros. 20 euros, yep. And if, you have, if, you, if you're getting it in America, then it's going to have to be shipped over. So it's going to cost you at least 80 quid. <laughs> yeah, 80 quid. That, these be tough times for the euros and dollars against the pounds. They be <laughs> real tough times. These be real tough times. Uh, I don't know why I really like hearing that from an Irish accent. It's like these be real tough times. <laughs> they be real tough. Ah, oh, jeez. This hat smells of smoke. <laughs> then take. You don't have to wear it. You can yeah. take it. <laughs> as soon as I say that, he's like, girl. Yeah, that that hat stunk of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I quite like wearing hats. Like I, because I quite like dressing up and stuff. So when it comes to hats and things, I do like wearing hats in my videos. Oh no, you missed it. I did a whole, I haven't, um, I edited together a whole video on Bloodborne. Right. Like I like filmed it, edited it together, did all the stuff for it. 
but I didn't upload it. And on that video, I feel like dressed up and like like a hunter. I've got a sword. I had a pop hat on. I had a coat on. That I call my Bloodborne coat now. Um, because I just really wanted to talk about it and dress up like it. And I was like, and James said, oh, you should do a video on it. So I did, but I just never uploaded it. Ah, when is this a first for YouTube? A first. It will <laughs> be uploaded soon. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I might upload <laughs> the big fish, little fish, Campbell, but yeah, I yeah, yeah. Upload it. Um, we only dance move. It's a bit late now because I completed Bloodborne a while ago. Um, mm. I might do another one when the DLC comes out because I'm gonna flip and play that. Um, but I don't know. I might upload it. I might not. It's I've got it on my laptop, so if I ever do decide to do anything with it. Yeah. Or I might just wait until I get a better camera, and then with the camera, it will look all nicer and stuff. Oh, 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 I, oh, I, oh, I. Because mm. <laughs> I am saving up for a better camera, because at the moment, like, literally, my camera's, like, this is what I film with. Uh, a box. <laughs> a box. Oh, well, they're, they're all right. Yeah. I... They're all right. But there are some moments, like, when I watch back the video, it, like, randomly goes out of focus for a bit. Like, my, like... I just, I'd, I'd like it to be more clean, like cleaner shots. Yeah. I think you should use some silk bang. <laughs> bang and the dirt yeah, is gone. gone. Their minds are just ridiculous. Hashtag branding. <laughs> oh, yeah, branding. Yeah, so the juice will be something eventually. Uh, but yes, it will be. Because yeah. I, I, I saw to my um, friend who's also on YouTube about it and he was like, is that the only reason why you did YouTube? I was like, it's one of the reasons. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> Does it? Um, so I should ask you more questions about how you, how long the process of you making a video. So, because I'm a, uh, a let's player, it's really easy. Pick a game, I hit record, and that's it for ten or twenty minutes. Do you talk over it, or do you just get like footage? Uh, talk over it. Ah, oh, nice one. I'll check it out at some point. Yeah, yeah, you should, should. But I'm slowly, super slowly. Leaving that to do more interviews, do more podcasts. I do another game, 20 questions. That's real fun. Oh, I love, yeah. Um, the last round of 20 questions I did with someone. The first video was an hour long for mm -hmm. the first round. Second video was 20 minutes long. Last video was an hour and 10 minutes. Wait, wait, wait remind me what 20 questions is. It's when... You, <laughs> you beat something like a spoon and someone has to figure out what you are by asking you questions. Oh, that game. Right. Oh, yeah, I love that game. I didn't. It three hours it took us to record three rounds. God. <laughs> yeah. He. We were both monsters to each other in that one. We picked the hardest people. What were you like, Saint George Michael the Twenty Fourth? No, I was uh, Clyde Barker, an author, and he right. was Ooh. Johnny Cage from Street uh, from Mortal Kombat. Oh, but, he, <laughs> but he's not a real. He's sad. He's not a real person, but he is a real person, and he's won an Oscar. In 1994, he guessed. It took me eight. We had to give each other hints. He said, Earth Realm. And I was like, okay, I had to Google Earth Realm. And I was like, what was my. Th I gave him a horrible hint because I was like, I'll get Earth Realm. I gave him such a bad hint. What'd you get? What was it like? Uh, he His books were inspired for a horror movie franchise that went to change from horror to stupid science fiction. And he's like, okay, there's uh, Earth Realm. Hey, Lord of the Rings, Mortal Kombat. Johnny Cage was like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. If that was me, I wouldn't even be able to guess any of it. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun game if you don't know how to play it either. It's it's a quick game if you're both good at it. Real quick. But they've never been quick. Oh, no. Like, I remember when you play with, like, a group of people or something, and then you've got, like, the really obvious ones, like Winnie the Pooh. Or things like that, and then they can get it like that. You're just like, oh, that's no fun. You want to have a good challenge? Yeah. It's when it's like really obvious from all the hints and everything, and the person still hasn't got it, and then they're there, just like going. Aah! But. I I yeah I once picked the third movie in the Crow franchise. The Crow franchise. Yeah. You know Crow. The Crow. Uh... Mm. Bruce Lee's son, he did a movie called The Crow. No. Nope. Was it The Raven? No, it was The Crow. No, you never heard of The Crow? I've heard of Raven, but that's a CBBC kids TV show. 
I think that's that's so Raven. No, no, no. This is a, no. That's so Raven. That was a Disney Channel thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Like Raven. This was like one of those kids' TV shows where they've got when um they had like a guy who was the Raven and he put them through challenges and they had to go through obstacle courses and stuff. That and he was awful. like. You, you fail to survive the challenge, and for that you lose a life. And then they get rid of a feather, and he's like, you won the challenge, and for that you gain a ring. And then they get a ring. It was a great show, you should watch it. Mm, no, no. It should be on YouTube somewhere, everything's on YouTube nowadays. They, they are, they very are. Um, I will, I'm going to have to pause it here because I'm reading out of Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> I'll actually pause the video as well. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm, I'm pausing it and I'm doing something smart this time. I'm going to your YouTube channel. Sorry. His YouTube channel. Your YouTube channel. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Well, ask me video specific questions or something. Yes. Uh... No. Ah, oh, no. The first video. Now I think about it. That I've been on James's stuff was maybe Lulu and Stitch. Was that before or after Lego Racers? God, Blumenick, can you remember? So, oh, I've started re uh, So, <clears throat> how do you write your... Do you just go look at a camera, or you play the game, and you decide, ah, oh, this is funny, I'll talk about this, or do you... St you said you write a script, but did you always write a script first, or did you just stand in the camera and go, libbity babbly boo Um, what, for reviews? For, yeah, you re yeah, yeah. Yeah, for everything I've done, I write a script for, um... In terms of my script writing, literally, I decide on, like, for example, I know the next game I'm going to talk about on my review. I won't say what it is. Spoilers. Because um, what I can do, for example, I'm very much inspired by music. So if I'm listening to a game soundtrack or something, and I think, um, or if I'm playing a game that just really stands out to me and I can talk and make a lot of weird comments about it, then I just start scripting and I'm someone who when I script and I get on a roll I get engulfed like in the way I just get completely absorbed into what I'm writing um I mean this is okay this is an example of the video I'm doing now so this was yeah this video is around four pages long so that's like a normal amount when I'm not chucking it all over the place so this is like a normal amount four or five pages of script I highlight them once I've edited it together and I put any random notes on the back. Um, but what I do is when I am when I then go on camera, for example, or if I'm doing a voiceover, um, I improvise a lot. Right. For example, with my top ten boyfriends with you, there's a moment where I've got a dating show for Sora, Roxas, and Riku. That um, called Love and Stuff. <laughs> That show came completely out of the blue. That was not in my script whatsoever. But literally, I was just putting the video together and I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be a cool idea. I'm going to give that a go. And then I got my microphone, did the pre the presenter's voice in my very typical deep man voice. Hello there. Welcome to the show. Mm. And um, You've worked on then, that. Yeah, and then boom, it, came, it became part of the video and it was one of my favourite sections in it. And also, like, even when I'm doing things on camera, a lot of the things I do are, like, I've got my set script, but if I add anything in, and I just look back at it, I'm like, wow, that's stupid, then I'll leave it in. Which is why on a lot of the beginnings of my videos, I've got a little segment, like, um, my top ten boyfriends, I was like, I'm in the zone, I'm in the game, in the navy, and then on Gemma Lamy, I was doing I'm Blanching from Gravity Falls, um... Just yeah, I just with scripting, I've got my big, I've got my big script, which, and I like it as well because, for example, if I want to shout, I'm, I do capital letters a lot. So like, for example, in this one, I'm like, oh, it would be so awesome. And then when I read it back, that's how I would read it. Or if I want to exaggerate something, it's just like slow. Um, but I think script writing is one of the most fun bits. I have to script. Uh, it takes. I think I have to read through it like three times before I'm fully happy with it. And then even when I'm editing through, there's a lot of parts I cut out. I mean, in this video, especially with top tens, because top tens are hard to do because you don't want them to be too long, mm. but you also want to have good content. 
So if there's something that I think doesn't work or I just don't like the way it fits in, I'll just cut it out. Or if I think it's not necessary, then I'll just cut it out and leave it as that. So in terms of scripting, yeah, and I do a lot of moments because I use bold text for um, the parts I do with my microphone on voiceover and anything that's just normal text I do on camera. And I remember I showed James one of my scripts and he said, wow, you do a lot of stuff on camera. But that's because I like to present myself, as you can probably with my arms. Yes. Um, <laughs> all over the place. Um, so yeah, a guy just like expressing myself. So then when I do the parts on camera, that gives me a chance to be <clears throat> that. And I've always preferred, vi I always love visual humor. So that's why I pull a lot of faces like <laughs> and stuff like that um, <laughs> like in my videos and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How's the um <laughs> Oh What are you gonna ask? No, that just face there was priceless. And they won't know what face you pulled. And my mum wonders how I'm still single. <laughs> well, lad, you've heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, I asked you before we started recording, that isn't a common question because uh, I know someone on your 3K Q&A asked and he was like, do you have an objection and all that? <laughs> so it is something that your fans in England obviously would like to know. Oh, what, if I'm in a relationship? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, and you answered it. I didn't want to ask it, but there's always questions. Like when I did the interview with Valentino, I just was like, you vegetarian it was one question I really wanted to know because she, she um, I don't even think I asked her in the interview. I think I asked her afterwards because it's like, ah, oh, come on, Kev, don't don't sound like an idiot. Do you eat meat? <laughs> Do you eat meat? Because <laughs> you're, cause you're, you know, you're in shape. I was trying to use words to go without <laughs> saying you're quite fit looking. Basically, you're fit, so do you eat me? <laughs> yeah, like, she was like, no, no, I eat, I eat everything. All right, that's okay. So you're not a vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> Just be really blunt about it. Yeah, uh, she was. And I was like, yeah. Just One thing that I find really funny with, um, like, whether I'm in a relationship or not, is there was an Instagram page that someone made called Professor Juice Fans. Mm -hmm. And the that page has gone down now for some reason. I don't know if someone reported it. But that was a very innuendous channel. Very <laughs> innuendous. Um, and my friends thought it was freaking hilarious, some of the content they put up. And um, one of, because um, I was with my friends once, and um, we were we were just, at, um, we were having like a house gathering or something. And then he went, ah, oh, cute couple pick for a laugh. And I was like, ah, oh, it's so good. This is one of my really close friends. And Professor Juice fan saw this. And they then thought that I was in a relationship and they were like, oh my God, this is her boyfriend. And he was like, now I'm getting the fame and I don't even like you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Just use me, bro. Yeah, yeah. But Sorry. now whenever he does stuff, I'm like, no, you can't. You're Professor Juice's wife. <laughs> so when he's like, I really like this girl. I'm like, no, you're Professor Juice's wife. <laughs> but you. <laughs> I'm such a pain in the ass. I love it. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just processing everything. You're just like, oh, God, what am I doing here? Uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot more questions than I really thought, answers I really thought I was going to get. You, I was in Juice Extras. I just want to know what series it was in. You did the video about how you and uh, this other game are very in common. Oh, what myself and Bayonetta have in common? Yeah. Yeah, that's in my juice lips. That's juice lip number three, I think. It it was brilliant because you obviously came up with the last joke first so you could end yeah. the video. And <laughs> it was a brilliant joke. And I was like, you can do all this stuff. And I was like, that's a really funny video. Because I think that was the second video I saw. Of you. I was probably the third video. And it was just so priceless because it was the last joke. I was like, that is so funny. It was priceless, that joke. Well, that's when it's like um, having quote, hair for clothes, isn't it? Yeah. And you just go, no. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> yeah, my friend said that because um, my friend, they don't know Bayonetta. They've never played the game. What they do know is that she's got, everyone knows that she's just got hair for clothes and she's very, uh, she's a very seductive character. So when I said that I was doing the idea, they were like, oh God, does that mean you're not going to wear like really slinky clothes, are you? I was like, nope. So I wore the baggiest t-shirt I have, right. which is why I wore that. Um, and when it came to the last section and they were like, oh, you haven't commented on her clothes yet. And I was like, I know, I'm getting there. And then someone put on the YouTube comments, they said you should have worn like a woolly jumper, like sheep hair, like wool and stuff. And I was like, oh, I could have done. But then again, I was quite happy with just my no. Yeah, it was a, it was a perfect joke and a perfect way to end the video because it was building up and everyone knew it was coming because <laughs> they know being it was building up, building up, no. And it was <laughs> it was a great ending to that video. It was, it was very, are you, have you, are you going to do any more videos in that kind of respect of help, common people you have in common with? Yeah, I want to, like, because I want to do more juice lits. Mm. Um, I haven't thought about doing a what in common thing actually yet. You've just get you. You're the first person to say, "Have you done? Are you going to do any what you have in common?" And I could do actually. That could get because me, Liam, and Andy and Lucy, who they have you on my juice lips. Um, we really want to do a Metal Gear Solid juice lip, but the thing is, I don't want them to be forced. Like I don't want to sit there for hours and think with a juice lip. If the idea comes to me, I will script it and then visualize it and then like make it come what, to practice. Like you and SpongeBob, you've loads of things in common. <laughs> I could do like what means Big Boss or something having come. I could do loads of stuff. That's a good idea, actually. Mm. Mm. It's the main thing I do on YouTube is ideas. This is why <laughs> I think you... ideas. Yeah, this is why my my channel does crap and everyone else's channel I work with does great. <laughs> well, because that's my most popular juicelet, I think. That um, but the thing I because with that I kind of did it as a massive troll. Because with the thumbnail, I did, like, so I had Bayonetta, and I took what I could do, the nicest picture of me, for example, as Bayonetta. Like, I did the glasses. Yeah, you, you, it actually looks like you have a different, you have a, a much darker hair colour in that image as well. Yeah, because I edited it a bit to make me look as much like Bayonetta as I could. Because I was, I was expecting people to be like, oh, who's this person? And then they watch it, and I'm there, like, eating Pringles with double chins and, like, walking in heels and just being like... Lucy, how do you wear these shoes? <laughs> and then like having gun shoes and just trying to kick him off. Um, so literally the whole point in that was just to take the piss and... Because well, cause with things like Bayonetta, people are like, oh, she's like, I love Bayonetta. I love the games, I love her character. But people are like, oh, she's so seductive. That's the only reason why people play those games. So I just wanted to completely take the piss out of that idea. Because I am not exactly an elegant, I'm not as elegant as she is. And because I had some comments on the Kadikara show about some inappropriate comments, let's say, um, <laughs> I just wanted to be like, yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so I was being a massive slob. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Good good image. Good good branding. Good branding. Good branding. Yeah, yeah use a very seductive character and completely take the piss out of the idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I got that idea actually, I think, um, how did I get that idea? Well, obviously I was playing Bayonetta 1, um, and I love Rodan, and I thought, and I was just playing it, and then the way, because I can't walk in high heels, like, as I said, I'm not the most elegant of people. I can't either, it's, I don't know. It's a problem, isn't it? Like, yeah. oh, it's such a big drama people make out of it. Um, <laughs> but, literally, I think I was just playing it, and I just... I just thought, yeah, I could so totally take the mick out of this. And then when I sp uh, spoke to Liam and Andy about it, they when I said the idea, they were both like, oh, God, where is this going? Like, what is she going to do? And we had a huge laugh with it. I still like the, my lollipop part, though, of that. Because I always thought, like, oh, if you're ill, have a lollipop. <laughs> so when, literally, I got it, I just slumped and got the lollipop. I didn't mean to put it in my mouth, but I just did. I just went, oh. Well, I was like, listen, I've got you a lolly. Um, which she loved. She loved it when I tried to shove that lolly in her face. <laughs> mm. that, no, that, yeah, I think... that explains that whole bit then. That random bit of her being sick. Yeah, because, well, Bayonetta uses lollipops to heal. Mm. Um, so I thought, yeah, we can use lollipops to heal. With, okay, with, um, with that juice, uh, juice lip, what I did is literally I 
picked out features that Bayonetta has, such as her high heels, her lollipops, all this, turning into a cat, uh, casting spells, and literally I just wrote a sketch idea on what to do. So that's how I scripted that one. So Juice Lits I script very differently than I do reviews and stuff because it's a completely different show. So yeah, that's what I did for that one. And I had to put an Evil Dead reference in there because I just love the Evil Dead. Oh, would you ever review any <laughs> review any of the Evil Dead games? I've I've only played the PS One one because James told me it was so crap, but he reviews that one. Yeah. But there was a PS Two game that 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 we had the demo of, and I used to love that demo when I was a kid because I thought it was so funny. Is, is that we... is that the one uh, where he's um, in a city and there's just loads of zombies everywhere? Then he has like a little sidekick, and the sidekick you can like throw in furnaces and stuff, or throw him into a basket, or kick him into a basketball hoop and stuff like that. Because I know there was two for the PlayStation Two, Locked and Dead, or something was one of them. Good games, good games. Oh, really? I could do. I might do one. I wanted to do. I really wanted to do a Halloween themed video, but I think the way like a review or something. But I think the way things have been timed, I probably won't be able to get one out in time. Um, because I've got but, a lot of stuff going on. But so that's, be... that's the yeah. Uh, I'm completely interrupting you, but that's the whole thing about YouTube. It, could, it will always be late. You can do your Christmas video now for next for last year. Oh yeah, well that was because that was my yeah. I like I will do a probably a Christmas. I know what I'm gonna do for my Christmas video theme thing. But in a way, that's what I have my idea for that kind of ties in with Halloween as well. If that's a hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But um... <gasps> <gasps> oh my god! Um, you can only be one franchise. Well, one. No. No. Wait. No. Huh? <laughs> now you're thinking. Does that have a game? Oh, it does. If you're thinking of what I'm thinking, it does. If I haven't got it yet, and I haven't played it yet, but if, damn hell am I going to review it. If I'm thinking what you're thinking, that I'm thinking, that you're thinking what I'm thinking, yes. I do. I think you know what I'm thinking. I think you're thinking what I'm thinking, so... I hope I'm thinking what you think it, I'm thinking. But I will not say it. <laughs> right, right. Well, it's just an idea I have anyway. It's an idea. It could always change, I don't know, but... But no, with my Christmas one last year, that was my first big video. So, and I always wanted to do a top 10 as my first big video, because I thought, I thought it would be easier to edit, but it turns out I actually think I prefer editing together reviews. Mm. It's easier to control how far you are with a top 10, because it's like, oh yeah, I'm on number 7 now, or oh yeah, I'm on number 3, and you know how you're progressing, whereas with reviews, like, it can be 16 minutes long, for example, and I think, shit, I've still got another page to do. <laughs> Like, you never know how long things are going to turn out, really. It depends on what happens and when. Do you, when you do a top ten, do you try to give, um... Do you try to give, like, a set time to each game to make a balance, or do you just... Because I've found out on other YouTubers, um... They do a top ten list. Like, this whole YouTube channel is just a top ten list. Where they give one number, like, even if it's, like, ten or nine, the first few really long... Then like five, you only have a couple of minutes. Then the last was really short. Yeah. Well, the first few were really long and talking about this topic, and then the last one was like, "This game, bye." <laughs> this game, love it, bye. Um, in terms of my top tens, I, I do it on more how like they look on the script. Like I try and do, and then when I edit it together, they turn out maybe to be a minute, a minute and a half each like each section because I try and balance out as much as I can but number one sometimes they're a bit longer because I may have more to say about it but like I say that's annoying because there are some moments that I improvise so maybe some numbers will be longer than others or if I've got a sketch within it so for example on this list I've got a few sketches involved with some of the numbers um, so that makes some longer than others but that's just because I had an idea and I just really wanted to put it together right Right. So, but I try and keep them the same. I try and keep them all a minute and a minute and a half. That's my rule. Do you um, try to do a video a month or? Yeah, my goal is, my goal is one video, one big video a month. But that's why I started Juicy Treats because since everyone's been giving me so much support and love and things, I really want to give it back. 
I would like I want I really want to give people more content and stuff, um, which is why I did juicy treats because juicy treats, literally with those I can script them in a night, and then when I have a free day I can film it, edit it together all in a day. So I can, for example, script it on a Friday night, film it on a Saturday, and have it up by Sunday. And they give people like they keep people updated, and like like it keeps me in contact with everyone. Um, but big videos, I try and do one a month. But for example, this month I've been to Disneyland, I've been to Eurogamer, um, and things like that. So this one's a bit more delayed than normal. Wait, when was my crash review? That was my no, my Um Jamalami. That was in August or early September. Well, the American um, Metal Gear Solid one was three weeks ago. Yeah, that because with juice. Um, because with my juicy treats, I think my Katamari one was five weeks ago. Maybe I'm trying to remember, but and then but like I try. My goal is to get maybe one or two juicy treats in, or one or three, one to three juicy treats in in between each big videos to keep people updated. Because I want to give people more content. I want to interact with people more. You you want to build your audience. Build. I want to connect with the people who I love. Build your audience and grow your market. <laughs> and make my place in society. <laughs> but always make sure you keep the people that came first. <laughs> but that as well, like, um, so also Juicy Treats, they're not replacing Juicelets. Um, I've had a few people be like, oh, da 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 da. But they're not replacing Juicelets, but Juicelets take a bit, while, a bit longer to put together because Liam, Andy, and Lucy, we've all got full time jobs now. So when we all get a free weekend or something to film it, um, we could spend like a day doing it or an evening, and then, um, but that could be like two weeks in advance or something. And I don't want to leave people waiting, like doing nothing for two weeks. So that's when I could chuck in another juicy treat and something like that. So just, I just want to give people more content. That's how I'm scheduling it at the moment. But my reviews, I probably think of like, they're the ones that people seem to watch the most of, which is understandable. Mm. Do, um, I'll only ask you one or two more questions before we end it, because it's been over an hour and 40 minutes. It's been uh, how long? An hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you, Have you ever started an idea and just halfway through I just lost all passion in the idea? Um, yeah, I've done it, oh no, I get that all the time with, when it comes to picking a top 10, picking a topic, for example, with this one, um, I have so many ideas, I have so many ideas I want to do for a top 10, but then when it comes to scripting it, I can script like one or two, and I think, and I just think I'm not ready to do it yet. And I don't lose passion for it, but I keep it aside for another time where I think I can write more about it or have more funny sketches around it. So with top tens, I get that problem. And then when I do get an idea, I'm like, yes, this is great. I love this stuff. But in all of my work, I put as much passion and love into them as I can. There have been many times where my friends have been like, do you want to come out? And I'm like, I can't. I'm doing video stuff. And they're like, oh, you're so boring. You never come out. And I'm like, because I have... I have to do this for the people. <laughs> um, but no, you know, like with all my projects, I put as much love and care into them as I can. But there have been, I mean, even with this Bloodborne video I was talking to you about that I haven't done yet, I put so, I did still absolutely love doing that video and everything, but I'd, it turned out to be like 15 minutes, I think, of literally me rambling about Bloodborne. And I don't think... I'm people are ready for videos of me just rambling for that long <laughs> let's say because I'm quite a rambler I've been told you, uh, but... you don't say <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so yeah like but um yeah that's my answer to that one I think um I'll uh I'll just have one last question. I usually ask people this, but I also find this question really big-headed of me. Um, I've only got, like, the first few people to actually answer it, who I've worked with loads of times. So, um... <laughs> how, 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 uh, how awesome 
You say Kevis. How also will I say Kevin? He's got the juice! Ah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, with that, I will uh, we'll end it here. I have been Hardman Tatio, the man, and this has been Professor Juice. Thank you for having me on your show. This has been so much fun to talk to you and stuff. Mm. Uh, until next time, take care. Goodbye. Bye. See